Hey everybody, welcome back to Kinfolk Farm. This is Shane uh, and Destiny. We're down here today uh, in her room. Actually, uh, right behind us, we, we keep our little, what we call our bee room slash hunting room. But uh, what I wanted to do today was try to render down all my caps from our honey harvest the last two years. Well, we had a honey harvest this year and one last year, and we saved all the cappings that come off our frames from that. And I want to melt these things down, see if I can't get a nice little block of wax out of it. I've never done it before, but I thought it'd be a lot of fun. We also have some old burr, what they call burr comb, or a little extra comb that's come off some of the old frames. I'll show you some of that here. Not quite a half a, ga or half a bucket full. And then we just got some little scrap that we're going to melt down to. It's just a little old scrap comb. It's all dry and brittly, but, but it'll melt down just fine. And I also noticed, I don't know if your camera will show, but after... All this wax is set. The honey has actually worked its way down. I'm gonna go ahead and filter the left the rest of that honey out too. I may get a jar or two of honey out of that bucket. I think that'll be kind of cool. But stick around. I'm gonna see if we can do this. I've never done it before, but I figured I need to learn how to do it. I thought it'd be a lot of fun. Well, step one, guys. What we're gonna do for step one is we're gonna scoop all these cappings out, and we're just gonna place them in an empty bucket because I want to get that honey out the bottom. And I don't, want to, I don't want to tip it and try to pour it in anything because then I'll start spreading that honey all around back in there. And I think it's already settled to the bottom. So once I get down there, I can strain that honey. I'll show you how I do that. Right now we'll have Mason move that for us. That could have been too heavy. Is it? Yeah. I dip it in there. I dip it in there. All right, guys. The next step is I filled the bucket full of water. Uh, I'm going to mix all this uh, caps with the cut comb. I put that cut comb in there too so I'm gonna mix that all together and just we're just trying to clean this wax and I'm not using hot water you use cold water for the fact you don't want your wax to start melting you put hot water in here it's just gonna start melting and when you pour the water off you're gonna pour a lot of your wax out into the yard and let me emphasize when you drain your wax this water out do not put it in your sink your tub do not pour it anywhere where there's pipes poured out in the yard and uh, now maybe the bees will find it, but but I would pour it out the yard. I wouldn't pour it down any of my drains, of course. But just use cold, cold water. You want to just try to work it in. I'm going to sit here and play with it a minute and uh, try to get it cleaned up. I'll probably do that about three, maybe four times, just until, ever, until uh, your water starts getting good and clean looking. Uh, you probably won't get it perfectly clean, but we'll get it halfway clean, then we'll start melting it down. You're making a potion. Yeah. What kind yeah, of potion you making? A honey what? potion? Oh uh, yeah. I'm making a growing potion at this time. I'm making a. I, I'm making a growing potion. Oh man. <laughs> hey guys, we're in the bathroom now. We took the the leftover caps that was about an inch deep full of honey it was actually crystallized honey uh, with some cap left in it we took and stuck it in the tub with some scalding hot water we just put the whole bucket in there and let it sit and that, that decrystallized it liquefied it a little better and listen you can hear it separating so it'll be separated hopefully by in the morning I'm gonna leave it all night and see if it'll separate and uh, being downstairs, it's so cool. Everything crystallizes down there. Every time we store honey downstairs, it crystallizes. But, but I'll show you in the morning, in the morning how much honey we get out of that little, that little leftover that was in the bucket. All right, guys. Well, after the cleanup, we ended up with a jar and almost three quarters of some really dark, gnarly-looking honey. But it's still, it's still a little crystallized. But it'll still be good coffee honey. That'd be great. All right. So what we did next is we filled it up right about to the line with water. It's actually a whole lot of water. We put a lot of water in there, but we're gonna melt this down on, low, on a real low heat. We're gonna sort of melt this down on a real low heat and keep an eye on it. We don't want it to get super hot where it's boiling over or anything like that, because it'll boil right over. And we're just gonna take our time and melt it down real slow, and we'll show you what to do next. So what you making, buddy? A growing potion? Are you excited? Huh? huh? Who's, who's the growing potion for? Uh, Nana. 
banana. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's starting to liquefy a little bit now. And we'll give it a few more minutes and hopefully we'll get a nice little rolling liquid going. All right, we got it at a nice rolling boil. Uh, not really a boil, just a nice little roll. I got it down on the low now that I got it rolling, but it really just looks so yucky. It doesn't look like no <laughs> golden yellow honey. It looks more like fry grease. But win, lose, or draw, I'm going to show you exactly what it turns out looking like. I know. I've heard sometimes you'll have to do it two or three times just to refine it out better, but we'll take it off the cool hand a little bit and I'll show you tomorrow better what it looks like. Okay, we just pulled it off the oven. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to set it out overnight, let it cool. You don't want to put it in the fridge or the freezer or anything like that. What you're trying to do is get all the sediment and stuff to settle at the bottom. And I'm sure with the way it's looking, we're going to have some stuff on top. It really looks rough, but I can see a little yellow to it. I'm sure it looked bad when it was boiling, but, but hopefully it'll turn out to be a nice brick of uh, wax. And if not, we'll do it again. Like I say, two or three times is what I've heard to get it to get it really, really clear. But, but set it out overnight is what we're doing next. No refrigerator, no freezer, nothing to try to quick cool it. Just let it set out overnight, and we'll check it in the morning. All right, guys, what's well, the next day? And this is what it turned out looking like. It looks pretty gnarly. Looks pretty rough. But let me pour this water off. Pour this water off. I've got these guys here. I won't leave them alone. But it turned out, turned out to looking like a pretty good little block of wax. All right, well there it is. It turned out to be pretty cool looking. I'll have to do it maybe one or two more times just to really refine it. But on the back, you can see the junk on the back. And we'll take and scrape all that off. You just take and scrape all that off. Take and get all that junk off. And we'll end up doing this again just to make sure we get it all clean and and purdy. Alright. Well we scraped off the back. And there's the front. We can do it, we're gonna do it another time or two. It turned out to be a pretty good block of wax for my first for my first go. I've never done this before, but it was really really cool to do have some fun with my grandson what we'll do is we'll end up melting this down once we do it a couple more times and get it really refined we'll melt this back down when we start uh, building frames and stuff for the next spring uh, we'll turn around and melt this back down with paint brushes uh, on a little uh, melting uh, cooker we have and we'll paint this right back on the frames and turn around and give it right back to the bees uh, you can make candles out a lot of people make candles and all that stuff out of it we turn around and just melt it down put it back on the uh, frames if you melt it and put it on your frames the bees will actually bring out the comb a lot quicker. They'll build that comb out a lot quicker just for the, they have wax to work with. And we've learned that it just works so much better at them building out comb than to them have to go out and forage and come back and rebuild the comb on their own. But, but it's sort of our way of recycling for the, <laughs> for the bees. Look, I know if you're not interested in bees, that's kind of a long little uh, video. But, but I appreciate it if you did make it through the whole thing. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, like button. And we got a lot of good things coming up this spring. Uh, stick around. We're going to go in the vineyard here in a, in a minute and get to work in there and see what we can't get done in there. Uh, see you on the next video.